This is going to blow your mind. Like, comment, and subscribe. Designing halfway rectifier is simpler than you think. First, gather your material. We need a transformer, a diode, breadboard, and a load resistor. Let us first see the transformer. As there are different transformers available in the market, so we have to choose according to our need. If the AC input voltage is higher than what we need, use a step down transformer to reduce the voltage to a suitable level. For example, if the input is 220 volts AC and you need 18 volt AC, use a transformer with a 220 volt primary winding and a 80 volt secondary winding. As we have the 1818 transformer, you can see it takes 220 volt of AC from your wall socket and transforms it to two 18 volt outputs. So why it is called 1818 transformer? Well, it has got three terminals. The middle one is zero volts and the outer ones will give us the 18 volt each. We can use it to power up circuits that need 18 volts or combine the two 18 volt outputs to get 36 volts. So it is super handy for DIY projects, audio amplifiers and even in robotics. Now we have the diode. So you have to select the diode. Choose a diode based on the maximum current and voltage requirement. As common choices include, you can see the diode. It is of the series 1N4007. It is used for general purposes. Ensure that the diode's current rating is suitable for the load. It is very important. They are in almost every electronic devices you use. Let us find out how they are made. Imagine diodes as one way streets for LXT. It lets the current to flow in one direction. So it is a unidirectional device. It doesn't allow the current to flow in both directions. It only allows the current to flow in one direction. So it is called a unilateral device. First, we start with two materials. One that is positive, called the P-type, and another one that is negative, called the N-type. Think of them like peanut butter and jelly. When we put these two together, we get a PN junction. This is where the magic happens. At this junction, electrons from the N-type material meet with holes from the P-type material. It's like a handshake that allows the current to pass in only one direction. So this is how diode is made. You can see the breadboard. I have already shown you how to use the breadboard. You can refer to my playlist and see how to use the breadboard. Now we will see how to connect the circuit on the breadboard. Start by connecting the transformer to your AC source. Now we have the secondary of the transformer. You can see transformer secondary has three terminals. So I will use only two terminals one phase and the neutral that is 0 and 18 volts now we have the diode and resistor first we will connect the anode with the one connection of the transformer then we will connect one terminal of the load resistor and the cathode of the diode so finally connect the other end of the your load resistor back to the transformer secondary winding so congratulations you have built a simple half way rectifier so now you can see i have connected the circuit now we will see the working principle First of all, I will connect the probe so that we can see the waveform on the DSO. You can see I have connected one probe across the input. So this yellow waveform will give us the input. You can see the sinusoidal wave. This is how the input will look like. Now I will connect another probe to see the output that I will connect across the load resistor. You can see this is the blue waveform. So blue waveform will be the output and yellow waveform will be the input. As you can see, a half-way rectifier is a simple circuit used to convert AC to DC. So it utilizes a single diode to achieve this. First of all, you can see the positive half cycle. You can see during the positive half cycle of the AC input, the diode is forward biased. You know semiconductor devices have different barrier potentials. For silicon, it is 0.7 volts. For germanium, it is 0.3 volts. And different materials have different barrier potential. So when this comes over the barrier potential, so it behaves like a short circuit. So the current starts flowing. So that is what is happening here. During the positive half cycle, the diode is forward biased. Anode is positive related to the cathode and conducts current. The current starts flowing across the load resistor, producing a positive voltage across it. You can see the positive voltage. During the negative half of the AC input, the diode is reverse biased. You know, anode is negative related to the cathode and it does not conduct. So no current will flow through the load resistor. So output waveform, you can see the voltage across the load resistor is a series of positive half cycles of the AC input. And at the negative half cycle, you see there is no voltage. To improve the performance of a half way rectifier, you can add a filtering capacitor parallel to the load resistor 
to reduce the ripples and obtain a smoother DC output. As you can see, I am adding the capacitor and you can see the smoother DC output. The value of the smoothing capacitor can be chosen based on the desired ripple voltage and the load current. So the efficiency of half wave rectifier are inefficient as they are only use half wave of the AC waveform. When I am adding the capacitor parallel to the circuit, you can see the waveform is smoothing, but not that much. As it is a half wave rectifier, only the positive waveforms are there. So the output waveform contains a high ripple factor, which requires filtering to obtain a smoother DC output. As ripple factor determines how well a half wave rectifier can convert AC voltage to DC voltage. As you know, the ripple factor of a half wave rectifier is 1.21, which is higher than the full wave rectifier. So that is why you can see it's not pure DC. There are some ripples present because only the half wave is present here. Now we are going to see the common applications of half wave rectifier as they are used for signal demodulation purpose, also used for rectification applications. Somewhere it is used for signal peak applications. The disadvantages of half wave rectifier are as they have higher power losses, output is very low and it contains lot of ripples. Thank you very much.